Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B1 Bomber. We got our bomber all sheeted and built. Looks pretty good, don't it? No, I got I gotta fess up. I was on the pooter New Year's Day and I came across the old boy that had seen to see this plug at a blue phone. And uh, he has several projects going and uh, kind of threw it up in the attic. Didn't have time to build it and uh, donated it to our project. So here we are with a eight scale B1 bomber. It's 18 foot long. And uh, I think my two turbine ideas out the window. But anyway, we got us some glass and some resin on the way. I got it all filled and it's ready to glass. What we're going to do is we're going to put two layers of 9 ounce tooling cloth on this. I'm going to get it all primed and get it all real smooth. Then I'm going to come in here and put all my panel lines and uh, make it look as scale as we can. That this was C and C, so it's it's pretty scale. There was a couple places I had to feel. Right here was a little low, but in general, this is one scale airplane. And uh, while I've been doing this over here, guess what old dad's been doing? We got a set of landing gear. Watch how these work. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? That works slicker than a slug on a wet rock. We had all folds. We cut all these parts out on a bandsaw. And uh, we're cleaning them up with Dad's meal. A couple pieces he had to meal. We milled this, or Dad did, and this piece here, and a couple pieces had to be milled. But in general, we cut most of it out with a bandsaw. It looks pretty good. All we're going to turn them out with a blade. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the gear folds flat up here so it all tucks in real nice to the fuselage it's not a hundred percent scale but it's as pretty close and uh, it's going to work just fine we found these electric actuators we're going to use instead of air cylinders uh, they're pretty slick so we're going to have them hooked up on electric and they'll work nice and slow and one had to have an air system for them. Oh, this is going to be nice. Back over here to the nacelle. We got one nacelle plug, which is pretty scale. And uh, I'll just make one mold of this and uh, do it twice for each plane. So I'll have one mold and just make two of them. They fit that CNC machine made them fit just perfect under the wing. They just fit like a glove, just right underneath. Here's one of the wings Dad's holding up. It's like over eight foot long. So it'll have like a 19 foot wingspan. That's the stab. All we gotta do is glass them and they'll be molded. And I'll vacuum bag my parts. And this will be one nice jet with four big old turbines in it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm thinking about using them swing them actuators for my swing wing mechanism too. If not, me and old dad will work up a, a screw jack. So, this week what we're going to do, my glass and resin should be here. I'll be waiting on that UPS truck. And uh, dad's going to work on our gear. So next week we should have a complete set of gear. This will be glassed, and I'm going to start priming it and sanding it. Also, we'll be working on the nose gear. Yeah, we got to build the nose gear too. But so, uh, people, everybody, tell us what you think of our project. And if you want one of these things, give us a holler. We'll be able to hook you up with a B1 bomber, 18 foot long. Man, I think it's going to be massive. So until next week, we'll see you in the shop. <laughs>